Hello everybody out there and welcome back here with the future once again to another showcase and review of some vintage mint on card action figures here that are no longer made. Um, but I wish they would make a comeback because I think they have a uh, place in the market actually. Um, actually if they made them more playable it would be um, better too. These were more like, they called them action figures but they were more like figurines or statues um, of your favorite uh, sport players. They're none other than the Kenner starting lineup. Um, figure line and um, I have a variety here from NFL NBA um, and MLB um, that we're gonna check out the ones that I have here in my collection and uh, yeah um, just talk about them a little bit because I think that um, they don't deserve um, or they don't uh, get enough love they deserve more um, love than they get and uh, it's like they're not even going for that much and uh, the value is not held up over the years and and in my opinion, I think that over the years, um, they're going to become more valuable because there's not any more companies making any kind of, you know, sporting action figure related figures anymore. Um, I think McFarlane or somebody took over for a few years and tried to do a line. But uh, yeah, they ran from 1988 to 2001, started out with Kenner, and then Hasbro picked them up after that. Um, but yeah, they uh, had a large array of different uh, sports figures from different, um, you know, associations, NFL, NHL, NBA, MLB, soccer, um, even like Olympic figures and stuff like that, etc. But uh, now we're going to take a look at these. I want to thank everybody who subscribed lately, dropped any comments, left any kind of feedback, give me any kind of likes. I really appreciate it. If this is your first time viewing, do all that I just mentioned. And now let's take a look at my uh, small collection here of mint on card. Um, Kenner starting lineups. Okay, so uh, here we have the first of my Kenner starting lineups. I'm going to start off with a couple of Major League Baseball ones. And this here is uh, Jim Tomey, and he was always one of my favorite players. And this is a 1996 edition, and I'm sorry about this camera. It's not zooming the greatest. Um, I actually need to get a new camera so we can zoom in a little better, but you can still get a pretty good idea of what the cards say. you got your Players Association stamp and your uh, genuine merchandise stamp there. Ages, I always love that. 4 to 104, um, it says up there. Um, for the age requirement and starting lineup sports superstar collectibles 1996 edition and you have your AL and NL logos there in the back on the card um, but then you had uh, Jim Tomey here and I didn't think that they did um, you know a horrible job on the likenesses you know a lot of the stances were reused for different characters but uh, they didn't have you know um, computer image like graphicking where they could graphic the face out and uh you know make it look exactly like the player but nonetheless you know i was always disappointed when i got this though because like they they show him with like the socks high there but he didn't have the solid socks um i wore my socks like that in baseball and of course every figure came with its own little trading card there so you have the starting lineup jim tomey trading card uh, he was just inducted into the hall of fame and this is when he was a young sensation playing for the um Cleveland Indians, if I can get a good focus there on the hat, but it's looking like that's not going to happen because my camera is just not wanting to focus very good at all on anything here. So yeah, like I said, you got to bear with me, and uh, I, I think everybody knows what the Cleveland Indians logo looked like, but nonetheless, we turned around to the back. Um, you see 1996 edition and other players that you could get in the line from that wave you got Terry Steinbach from Oakland Deion Sanders from the Reds Neon Dion, Ozzie Guillen from the White Sox Sammy Sosa Slammin' Sammy from the Cubs Mo Vaughn from the Red Sox Ken Caminiti um, from the Padres Ken Griffey Jr. from the Mariners and Raul Mondesi uh, from the Los Angeles Dodgers at the time so very cool there and also you had your you know other things down here, um, your Cooperstown collection ad along with stadium stars that were new for 1996. Look for exciting new stadium stars and Cooperstown collection figures. And then you had your little uh, Major League Baseball logo down here. It said 1995 Tonka Corporation. So Tonka, Kenner and Tonka um, came together on this. I don't know if you can actually make that out. It's not wanting to 
focus very good here. Let's see if I can get a autofocus here in on those so we can read it a little better. Um, but you can kind of make it out, the 1995 Tonka. But sorry about that. But over here you had, uh, you could join the starting lineup collectors club and you had the collectors club membership here. Join the starting lineup collector club and receive an exclusive rights to special edition starting lineup um, figures of sporting greats like Nolan Ryan and other legends. My dad actually signed up for that, I remember. He has a huge, huge, massive collection of these. And, uh, I think you can see the, uh, it's just so such small writing and just not picking up over the camera here. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, this was the 1996 edition of the MLB starting lineups. And, uh, always loved, uh, baseball, big fan. My uncle was a uh, Major League Hall of Famer, and I actually did those Mickey Mantle comic books not too long back, um, which is very cool. But there's Jim Tomey, the Hall of Famer. The other one I have, well, he should be a Hall of Famer, but with the whole steroid scandal, he's not. And it's the Mark McGuire when he was on the Oakland A's. And like I said, I think they did a pretty decent job on the likeness for Big Mac here. I mean, it could be worse. You know, and uh, the sculpting, you know, all the figures, you know, they kind of reuse bodies. But here you had the card of Big Mac over here, and it said, Lasting Leaders. This is before he set the uh, 70 home run mark um, with the Cardinals, um, right before he was traded in 96. That's why I picked this up. I was a fan of Big Mac and the um, Bash Brothers with him and Canseco. Um, so I had to get this when he went to the Cardinals. This is, I found this not too long after that and had to pick it up have a whole collection of Mark McGuire stuff from back then. On the back is the same figures that were in the line on the other one. So no real need to go over that. It's exactly the same. So cool there that I have not only Mark McGuire but uh, Jim Tomey as well. Um, here is an NFL one that I have and then I have some NBA ones but the NFL one I have is none other than Herman Moore here. And uh, Herman Moore was always one of my favorite wide receivers. Played for the um, Detroit Lions. This was the 10th year edition, 1997. Had your QB club and your play football and your uh, Players Inc. stamp there, starting lineup, Sports Superstar Collectibles. Um, the trading card there to the left of Herman Moore. Uh, your warning, of course, your age is 4 to 104. Um, but not a bad figure here of Herman Moore. Always like the colors of the uniforms of the Detroit Lions and like I said there is a market still for these in my opinion if somebody would come back and make some you know vintage starting lineup style um, action figures like I said they were very like hard to play with you know you got them out of the packaging they were all in their own little uh, pose and all had a football or you know a bat it was kinda of hard to simulate any kind of game but this uh, wave had a football um, filled like diorama in the back and on the back of here you just had uh, the teams you know from the National and F American Football Conferences and it said look for more starting lineup players from the National Football League there and uh, down here you had your starting lineup collector club card here a little different starting lineup collector club uh, of course you had your Kenner stamps your football stamps your quarterback club stamp all that stuff um, but yeah, the back and you had your NFL sticker on there for your official NFL uh, merchandise. So very cool there, the Herman Moore. And I always love that they came with removable helmets. So you had a little accessory there for the football stars. So very cool. Always a fan of Herman Moore. Then, for the NBA ones, um, we'll start it off with the oldest to uh, the newest one that I have. And this one here um, is a 1996 edition of Akeem the Dream, Elijah one. Played for the Houston Rockets, um, NBA champion. And yeah, I think the likeness is very good on Akeem here. Um, and I always loved that these uniforms that they had um, that were black with the white stripes. Uh, this is back when they, you know, won their titles. But, of course, their old school uniforms are on the card here. 
I mean, uh, Akeem was still wearing the red and white here. Uh, but then they went out and got Clyde the Glide and won some back-to-back -back titles there when Jordan wasn't around. Um, but I think it's a good likeness of Akeem. And you can see 1996 edition Sports Superstar Collectibles. And, of course, on the back you have your 1996 edition. Of course, you have your look for more starting lineups, players from great NBA teams, and it has some of the teams. Raptors, Bulls, Magic, Bucks, Knicks, Grizzlies, Sonics, and Rockets. And down to the bottom you had your Collectors Club membership deal. As always, saying sporting greats, Nolan Ryan, other legends, so talking about your NBA. Um, and it has the NBA logo here. And of course your Kenner stamp there, which is, I cannot get it to focus on the small 1996 Hasbro there. Everything else seems to like read pretty decently other than that. It's kind of weird. But whatever. I'll be getting a new camera soon, but this works for now. I don't want to stop doing my videos, so I hope everybody understands. It's a real bad video, we can always come back and revisit it, but the NBA 50 stamp up here to the right, too, because that was when they were doing their 50 greatest players of the 50 years of NBA. Pretty sweet. I like that. And they stayed kind of in that same color scheme, because um, in the next one that I have is a 1997 edition one. And if, actually, I'm going to show the 1998 one first, because the 1997 edition is a two-pack. Um, and the 1998 one I got is one of my favorite players of all time, Kobe Bryant. And uh, in my opinion, his likeness in this figure is not the greatest. But, you know, this is whenever he was, you know, pretty much just coming in. And, of course, you got the Kobe Bryant trading card to the left. And in 1998, they were getting a little bit more fancy as Upper Deck started doing the cards for the starting lineups. Um gotta love that they uh, started selling out a little bit more than I wouldn't say sell out but they went from their own cards to upper deck 1998 edition and this one was uh, 676 there at Walmart you can see and you got your starting lineup sports superstar collectibles and your official NBA licensed merchandise you got actual players in the background on this one the other one just had Eastern Western Conference there behind them um, so yeah, they made updates to the cards, even a basketball court behind Kobe, where the figure is. So, yeah, always was a big Kobe fan and Shaq fan, as you'll see here in a second. Um, on the back here, it just has an evolution of basketball, like right up here on the back of this one. It'd take me forever to read that one off for you guys. And then down there, your collector club membership. Uh, a little card that you could clip off. Of course, your Kenner 1998 Hasbro. It was already Hasbro by this time. But uh, the last one that I'm going to show off from my collection here, and I'm glad everybody's bared with me this far. So, the last one is a classic double. They started making classic doubles with two um, figures in a pack, and they would be like related figures. And these were the LA Laker. Um, centers and you had um, the 1997 edition here of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar alongside Shaquille O'Neal here so how cool is that you know you had your regular um, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar NBA top stars card there and then a tops uh, Shaquille O'Neal there to the left so they were doing tops here and 98 they did the upper deck but, uh, man, nonetheless, you can see here, winning Paris Classic Doubles 1997 edition, starting lineup, sports superstar collectibles. Very cool figures, too. Always a huge Shaq fan. And these go right alongside, you know, Kobe. He's in the yellow. This is in their purple um, uniforms. But then you have, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, a.k.a. Lou Alcindor. Classic beard and the hair. Just like up in the uh, picture of the uh, card itself. Very cool. So I think they did a good job on the likenesses here of each figure. Even gave them the old school style socks. 
And then, of course, you had the New Age Shack, which he was ye he was wearing his yellow up in the uh, card. But yeah, this is very cool. And on the back of this one, you had a little right up here. Look for more starting lineup players from the National Basketball Association. Starting lineup to the left. He had your sticker there. Official merchandise. Um, winning pairs, classic doubles of games greatest. Who can you count on for sharpshooting, collecting excitement? Starting lineup, of course. And now you can double up on basketball thrills with NBA classic doubles, classic doubles pair at basketball's biggest winners. Superstar bound together by historic events, career accomplishments, teams, and position pl and positions played. I guess jump in and gain possession. And it says look for the new backboard kings. And I actually do have a backboard king shack and a large starting lineup shack doll like figure um, that I should do a showcase and review on sooner or later but I'm just focusing on the single starting lineup figures here for now but the starting lineup collector club here to the right very sweet you could send it in join the club of course you got Kenner down here 1997 all your um, warnings and uh, logos and labels and whatnot down there so yeah, um, I want to thank everybody who has tuned in and checked this out. Um, sorry about the focusing there on the smaller writing, and uh, not as good a focus on the uh, figures as I want to get either, but like I said, um, I'm hoping to get a new camera soon. So I want to thank everybody who checked this out. I wanted to go over a, you know, kind of a forgotten line that um, deserves a lot more love, like I said earlier, and that's none other than the starting lineups by uh, Kenner, um, later released by Hasbro from 88 to 2001, and here's my little on-card collection. So yeah, if I get any more, I definitely will do more videos, but yeah, in the meantime, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed checking this out, little trip down memory lane, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, uh, give me a like, drop a comment on what you thought about starting lineups, or if you collected starting lineup Kenner um, figures yourself but until then guys till next time peace out